Hey everybody, welcome to a short tutorial on how to get good framerate video if you have a bad framerate in your game. The short story is I just used Cheat Engine to slow down the game and then speed up the footage in post, but the long story is basically this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download Cheat Engine, and the one thing to watch out here is that many antivirus programs will see it as a virus even if it isn't, but that's completely fine, you can ignore that message. Something to watch out for though is Cheat Engine wanting to get you malware on your PC, so just skip all of the messages that want to install you things that you don't have. And after that's downloaded, there's just a simple installation program where you just want to let the thing do all of its steps and you should be completely fine. Again, the only thing we want to watch out for is any malware, so let's just untick that and let the installer do its thing. Okay, so now that we have Cheat Engine, we want to open it. And the great thing about this is that the speed hack is actually relatively easy. The first thing we want to do is go to the top left and click on this button to select the process that we want to edit. In this case, it's Planet Coaster, and then we can just select it from the list that it gives us. Click on open to make the program open it and the next thing we want to do is enable speed hack and here we want to set a value. Now this is a little bit more tricky uh, because the value that you want to set for speed is going to determine how fast the game is going to run. So for instance if I put 0.5 over here or slide the slider over to 0.5 the game is going to be two times as slow whereas if I put two the game is going to be twice as fast. Now in this case for instance because my game is running at 20 fps but I want to record a 60 fps video I want to slow it down by about four times because I also want to have a bit of a buffer between the fps of my game and the fps that I'm recording in to make sure that it's always recording at 60 fps and not dropping frames during the video. Uh, so all I need to do to do that is set the speed to 0.25, click apply and the speed of your game should be much slower. And this is basically how all of it works. Now you just want to record whatever you want to record in the speed, be it a cinematic shot in City Skylines or an off-ride shot on Planet Coaster or especially an on-ride shot of the coaster in Planet Coaster um, in this state. So you actually end up with a slowed down video and just speed it up again in post and you should have a real-time but a good frame rate video. Now this is where... Um, the number of the speed hack comes in as a very important thing because because I slowed down the game by four times by setting the speed to 0.25 I of course want to speed up the video exactly four times to make sure that it's actually uh, in real speed again. Now before we get into the last part which is the editing I want to quickly talk a bit about the way that we're recording the slowed down footage uh, because I usually do it with the X-Story. OBS is a great free way to do it um, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work with every single program. I know that a lot of issues are coming up with Freps. I'm not able to record anything with Freps with Cheat Engine slowing down my game. And I know that some other people have this issue as well. And while I haven't tried Shadowplay, or I have tried Shadowplay, I haven't been able to get that to work either. Um, that doesn't mean that it necessarily doesn't work for you. Uh, but just keep in mind that not everything might work when you're recording a Cheat Engine slowdown game. I'm not sure what's behind this, but it's just a little thing to note. Also for those people who are curious, and for those people who are using OBS to record, uh, my settings are just like this, I'm recording at a bitrate of 20,000. Higher is good as well, but I wouldn't recommend going much lower than this. Um, video is just 1080p because I want to make a 1080p video. Now FPS is actually not that important in this case. Just make sure that, once again, once you speed up the video, it's in the right FPS. Were I to record OBS in 30 FPS right now, it wouldn't really matter either way, because I'm going to speed up the video in post anyway. As long as you're making sure that your resolution is good, and you're encoding in enough bit rates so that your video is not going to become blurry, you should be more or less fine. And for any of the more sophisticated parts of setting up your OBS, there are tons of great YouTube tutorials on this that are much better at this than I am. Now I've got everyone's favorite program right here, Windows Movie Maker. It's 2009 again, but um, it actually allows you to change the speed of the video and you can actually just completely finish off the time lapse by setting the speed to four times the regular speed as I slowed it down four times to get my frame rate good. And that's basically real time smooth footage done with pretty much just free tools and random stuff. Of course though, I'm not saying you have to do this in Windows Movie Maker. Whatever video editing you're comfortable with works pretty much anything from Premiere to Sony Vegas to Resolve can change the speed of a video. All you have to do is set it to 
as many times the uh, speed faster as you slowed it down with speed engine and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you learned something from this and I hope to see you guys sometime soon.